When the Kentucky Derby happens every year, not everyone can make it down to Louisville to cheer on their favorite horse and sip mint juleps. For years now, the folks at Alden Park Restaurant in Plymouth have been hosting Kentucky Derby parties and using the event as a means for local nonprofits to have fundraisers for their causes. This year's party raised money for the Plymouth Youth Foundation, and it was a packed house. This is their fifth year, but this is our first opportunity that we've been chosen as the beneficiary for all the proceeds that they earn from the Kentucky Derby. So um, very excited. As you can tell, the place is slamming busy and we've raised quite a bit of funds. We don't know how much yet, but there's a lot of money flowing and it's going to help a lot of kids. Well, uh, we were approached by Alden Park um, with regard to the Kentucky Derby they've done the last five years. Uh, they pick a nonprofit every year, and uh, we, we talked to them about it for the Plymouth Youth Foundation. Uh, they really heard about all the work we did at the Manomet Youth Center uh, and the work that we're going to continue to do. And the idea of the Plymouth Youth Foundation is get the kids uh, involved in the community, after school programs, on the weekends, keep them busy so they don't get involved. In, you know, in drugs. The, the biggest part is local. Their need. Um, they, you know, they work with the children. They need money, um, as most of the groups do. They don't have a lot of their funding. They don't have a, a group that's out there raising money for them all the time. And they do smaller little events. So we thought it would be good to hit near and dear to our home here in Plymouth. Um, and the Manamit Youth Center definitely uh, needs some help. And we thought it would be a great cause to uh, support. And, and their people got behind it and helped get all the items and things like that, uh, along with ourselves. But um, but also providing the, the, the support to actually execute on day of. We've had about 150 uh, between silent raffles and raffles. We have 50-50 drawings. We have, you know, the horse races. We have a bottle, a wine bottle pull of ex um, expensive, you know, wine bottles. So all of the funds come to us and we're going to do great things with it. The event itself, it, it's again, it's a well-run machine. It's been going on for five years now, so it brings the whole community together. Uh, and a lot of people come not because of the Kentucky Derby, but yes, they do. But it's also the hats and the clothes that they're wearing. Uh, it's a really a Kentucky Derby festival, but they're also coming to support a good cause, too. We have silent auction prizes here. We have raffle prizes here. Uh, there's all sorts of things that people can donate money to. So they not only pay money for the tickets, but they also pay for everything else that's in here as well. I think anybody who shows up for the first time at this, and this is my first time here, I'll be back again next year. I think other people that you talk to uh, say they will be as well. But I think probably more than half the people that are here tonight have been here before, and that's why they keep coming back.